I'm going to tell you a sex story. Yeah, I know most guys would tell you all about their different media appearances they've done, and all the books they've authored, blah, blah. And yeah, I could bore you with that crap. I have a credentialed resume that would make the biggest player you know run home to his mama. But listen, if you're smart, you don't give a damn about that. And I bet you don't. You probably just want the juice, the secret sauce. And I'm going to get to that in just a few seconds. Right after my sex story. Deal? Cool. So how did this skinny little loser looking dude go from zero to sleeping with up to 15 new hotties a month? Did I get rich? I memorized line after lame ass line that I put on pheromone cologne? Hell no. The truth is pretty brutal. I was an absolute leper with women until I discovered this system. If you looked up whipped in the dictionary, it'd say, see Josh Pellisier. In fact, if I hadn't hit complete rock bottom, I'd probably still be terrible to this day. You see, several years ago, I was living with my complete ice queen of an ex-girlfriend in North Carolina. She was hot, young, and she knew it. You know, a total Barbie who always gives what she wants. And I thought she was amazing in bed. Now that I've been with a few hundred more women, I wouldn't even rate her a five. Listen, back then, the old Josh did anything she wanted. If she wanted to move to North Carolina, I said, okay, let's go. She wanted to keep in touch with her ex-boyfriend. I told her, it's okay, I understand. She wanted me to pay for the apartment. I didn't want to look like a deadbeat, so I said, I'll work two jobs, no problem. I just wanted to make her happy. But one brutally hot day, I come home from a 14-hour shift at the coffee shop I worked at to find her freaking out. She told me that her dad was making a surprise visit, and she never told him that she was dating anyone, and definitely not that she was living with someone. And the worst part, he was showing up that night. So she told me to get all my stuff and leave the house for a couple of days so he wouldn't find out that I lived there with her. And, like the little